Okay, so last class we started our perspective city. So you should get your paper that looks like this. Remember last class we created the horizon line, we drew our first corner building, and we drew two intersecting streets with sidewalks. So today we're gonna be adding in more buildings and fixing up our crosswalks a bit. So for this project, you need to have five buildings total, at least five buildings. If you would like to have more, you may, but I need to see at least five here. So you've already got one that we did last time. So we need to add at least four more. And I recommend starting by adding buildings kind of on the this side of the road where you did your first one. Buildings that are kind of next to each other. Imagine like a city or a suburb. So if you remember how we drew this building, it starts very similarly. We're gonna draw the corner of the building first. So line up your straight edge or your ruler somewhere next to this building on either side and draw a straight line. You can decide if you want your building to be very tall or short. I think this one's gonna be pretty tall, about that height. And from there, we're gonna do the same things that we did before, but because we've already made our road, we have one line already finished for us. Do you see? So this is the end side of our building. So to create that other wall, we're just gonna line up our vanishing point to the top of the line like we did last time, and draw a line connecting the top of that line to that vanishing point, just like that. And you're gonna do that on the opposite side as well. Top of the line to the vanishing point. Draw a line, okay? Then you need to do that with the bottom as well. Bottom of the line to the vanishing point. Now you see this building is gonna go behind our first building. So you don't need to connect all the way. You just need to go to where the building is. See that? Now, draw two straight lines to finish off the walls. You can make this building as tall or short, as long or wide as you would like. This is your city. Okay, so now I've got almost one more building. So let's go ahead and clean up these two extra lines and then we'll add the roof. Okay, so I cleaned up my extra measuring lines and now I need to add a roof. This is gonna be a pretty small roof. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did before for this building, but it's just gonna be a little shorter. So I'm at the corner and I'm just gonna go a little bit towards the vanishing point. I lined it up, but I know it's not gonna go all the way, so I'm just lining it up and drawing as much as I need. And then I'm gonna do the same on the opposite side, line it up to the corner to vanishing point, draw a line. And you can see it intersects about right here, right here. So I can go ahead and go back in and erase those extra lines. And now I've got two buildings. It's starting to really look like a city, isn't it? So we need five buildings total. So we've got two, so we need three more. So I'm gonna go into the other side just to kind of even it out and do the same thing again. Draw a straight line, decide how big or short you want it to be. I think this one's gonna be about a medium height. Draw a straight line and see I've already got one line done up for me. Line up the top edge of that line to the vanishing point. Draw a line. I already know, oops, I already know I'm not gonna go all the way to the vanishing point, so I'm not gonna draw my line all the way there, but if you want to, you can. I just think at this point it might get a little bit messy. Do the same thing on the other side. Just like that, good. Two more straight lines to finish off those walls. And then we've got this side of the wall finished. We just need to clean up this side. So go to the bottom corner of the edge of that wall, 
line it up with the left hand vanishing point and draw it all the way to this building. Remember, it's not gonna go in front of this building, it's behind. This is how we're layering. Clean up those extra measuring lines. You don't need any more. And draw the roof. So corner to opposite vanishing point. Draw a line. Corner to opposite vanishing point. Draw a line. Clean up the extra lines. Okay, so now I've got one, two, three buildings total. I'm gonna do one more over here on the corner and come back to you. So I started this building over here and then I decided I actually wanted to show you guys the full thing as well. This building I'm gonna make over the horizon line. So the top of it's gonna be over the horizon line. Any building you make that is taller than your horizon line will not have a roof. So that's kind of important to know. And it kind of makes sense when you're drawing it out, but it might be hard to visualize until you're actually doing it. So I'm doing the same thing over here, connecting those top corners to the vanishing points, just as I always would, and drawing those extra straight lines to finish off the walls and then the bottom corner to the opposite vanishing point so that it's going behind this building. But you see, I have to clean up those horizon lines because you can no longer see the horizon behind this building. The building is in front of the horizon. But I've got no need to do a roof now because this is over the horizon line. Even if I tried it wouldn't work. I can't, I can't line it up. It doesn't make sense measuring wise. So anything, any building that goes above the horizon line will not have a roof, okay? So I've got one, two, three, four. I might do another one over there, but I think, and this is where you kind of have to do a little bit of city mapping. I've kind of decided that I'm gonna leave this side over here as like a park and maybe put a welcome sign in there and we'll do that in later classes. But over here, I wanna have one more building kind of off of the sidewalk. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start with the bottom part of that building. So I'm gonna draw just a vanishing line from a diagonal line from the vanishing point. This might be like a city hall or something that has like a courtyard in front of it or something like that, right? So I've drawn it kind of diagonal coming off the sidewalk. I might add like stairs or like a little garden over here later. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw two vertical lines for this building. So I'm lining it up. I wanna make sure these are really straight or it will look wonky. Deciding how tall I want my building to be, about this tall. And this is gonna go over the road, but I'll erase those that road in a bit once I'm finished. And then I'm gonna draw another diagonal line from the vanishing point connecting these two lines, you see that? And now I've got to create back side of my building. So starting at the corner, going back, and the roof of my building. So these will be two parallel lines going backward. and a vertical line connecting them. Okay. 
and then finish off that roof. So back corner to opposite vanishing point. Front corner, opposite vanishing point. Then go in, clean it up. So take out that sidewalk that is now behind this building so you cannot see it. So this is up to you. This is a totally optional part. If you want to have a building, kind of a nice challenge building in front of that main strip of buildings we did. Or you can just draw your fifth building over here. Your choice. Okay, so this is about where you should be. You should have one, two, three, four, five buildings at least. If you wanna add one more over here, one more over here, you can have 10 buildings if you want. That is your choice, but I'm gonna just leave it with five, the minimum requirement, okay? So I'm fixing it up just a bit. Okay, so the last thing you're gonna do for today is kind of fix up your crosswalk a bit, and this is gonna be really easy. If you think about a crosswalk or a pedestrian crossway, they usually have those big white rectangles, right? So go in and just add a few even rectangles that are about the same size as your sidewalk and parallel to your sidewalk. If you still have some like pencil markings of where those original measuring lines were that you did, you can add those in. If you want to use your straight edge to get them perfectly perfect, you can. If you want to have like a different kind of crosswalk, if you want to have, I don't know, a zigzaggy crosswalk or something more creative, you're welcome to that. And then also go in and just kind of add a few little rectangles to represent the road signs. This can be something that you change later as well. Or you can make really creative right now. And remember that they're gonna get really small the further you go back and bigger as you go forward. Probably be one over here and one over here. And then I'm gonna do them over here as well. So I'm gonna pause for a second and get caught up there while you do as well. Okay, so I've gone in and kind of um, drawn out my road a bit. This is by no means the finished product. I'll probably refine these lines later and add color or shading, um, but just going ahead and kind of mapping it out so it's definitely starting to look a lot more like a city. So for today, your picture needs to be looking something like this. You need to have at least five buildings and you need to have added in the crosswalk and some of the road markings, whether they look traditional or more imaginative, either is perfectly fine. So go ahead and finish this, get to this point, take a picture of it, upload it to Canvas for your formative assessment and points, and keep this paper in a safe place for next class as we continue to build on this making our two-point perspective city. Okay, great job guys.